it literally wasn't until this video that I realized I've actually experienced all of the moon overlays. But these last three that we're going through are probably my least experienced in terms of romantic. Like these are more the ones that I've experienced through friendship sinistry and not too, too romantic. But that's just because I'm not into those placements. They don't activate me. No shades of those placements though. This is day 10 of the December challenge. Welcome. We are talking about Sinistry all December long in this channel only, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a beat. We're starting with moon overlays and we only have three left to do before we start with Mars overlay. The three that we have left, moon in fifth overlay, moon in ninth overlay, and moon in twelfth overlay. Today though, we're going to talk about moon in the ninth overlay. I have so many friends who I've had this overlay with um, and only one romantic interest. It didn't go too far, but we know each other. We, we still kind of not really though not really that's a stretch that's a stretch why am i gossiping in the moon and ninth house overlay video because it's about gossip okay these two are little gossipers like they kind of seclude themselves away from society and go on their own little like journey or adventure or whatever they're in their own little bubble just living in this kind of fantasy world gossiping over tea and crackers or whatever you do with tea like moon in ninth similar to moon in fifth these two love going out together they love partying they love like festivals concerts even if they're more low-key introverted individuals maybe like if crowds aren't their scene the equivalent would be like a carnival like the pumpkin patch, Halloween horror nights, the movies, like they just like going out, you know? They like having fun, they like having new experiences together. That's what stimulates them as a couple, as a relationship. The one thing that Moon and Ninth Overlay is notorious for is being the long distance sinistry overlay. And I have to say that stereotype is not far off. You guys meet in the same town but then during your relationship you guys have to like be distant for some time for whatever reason or the other someone gets a job overseas or maybe they were always planning on moving in three years or family whatever there has to be some distance in the relationship and at some point if you have one in the ninth house overlay you are gonna have to figure out like how is it gonna work in that in between time you guys have a strong connection like people think about like distance with this overlay but it's not distance in the sense of like your bond you guys have really one of the strongest bonds in the moon overlay series i feel because it's tested to like such a degree distance is almost like the ultimate test for most romantic relationships right but in this case with this overlay distance makes the heart grow fond and it's like almost like Without the distance, you guys wouldn't have had as strong of a bond as you do now. In that distance period, you guys are, you guys get even closer because it's like you learn this other side of the person that you wouldn't have really known about if you weren't apart. It's hard to really describe like what the lessons you're learning when you guys are distant, but I think this is just probably one that you have to have a long distance relationship to kind of understand what it means and not necessarily romantic relationship but if you've ever just had like a pen pal or just even a friend who lives like in a different city you just know that like the online relationship is a little bit different than the in-person relationship but you get a much more well-rounded idea of who that person is and so it's just easier to be intimate with them and then when you guys do meet up that's what even even more stimulates you guys wanting to make new memories new experiences together living in the present moment while you have each other cherishing cherishing those moments cherish is the word the theme for moon in the ninth house overlay this is the person, you guys might not see each other very often, 
but if you pick up the phone and say like i need you to come here whether they need to take a taxi a plane ride a bus ride they will be there they will have your back so this is another one that's like very loyal or can be very loyal you know with all these moon industry overlays i have focused a lot on mostly the positives for most of them i've tried to include like if there's anything really that you have to worry about then you know i'll mention it but for the most part honestly relationships i believe are what you make it if you guys make the choice to show up for each other this is the potential the great potential of what it can be but i also like to dispel the rumor that like there are bad placements there are no bad placements they're just different experiences everyone's also on their own journey so everyone needs a different to experience a different aspect of life or a different way to go about something so that they can learn the lesson that they need to learn so if you have this overlay and you're kind of like hating the distance maybe you're more of like an in-person thing this is kind of like what happened with me i need the in-person thing so every person that i had like the moon in ninth house overlay with it just didn't work out because i'm like mm -mm. but i have learned so much from those and like i know that those lessons are going to help me on the path that i'm on and the future that i'm heading towards but these are like lifelong friendships lifelong relationships if both parties commit of course another thing is that you guys it's very common that the moon in ninth house overlay you guys meet in school like you go to the same school or while you're in school in whatever town that is you meet them in that era of your life because the ninth house represents high education right and the moon is your habits and your habitat all right that's all i have for that i'm so excited to finish the moon overlay so that we can go into mars and venus that's what's heading up next okay and we're still gonna talk about aspects as well i think i'm gonna do them as like bonus videos and keep the overlays as like the main day video for the december sinister challenge i've been pumping out these daily videos i just love talking about this so it's so easy <laughs> but look out for some double videos some days um later on in this month so we can start diving into the aspects so yeah don't forget to drop your comments if you have questions about this video or if you just have questions about sinistry in general i'm here to answer it all december long all right catch y'all at the next one